downtown Seattle right now. The Space Needle is right in front of us. The Seattle Space Needle. It was raining just a little while ago and it stopped just for us. Let's see what the angle is right here. Got our little protractor thing for measuring angles. Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 degrees, 50, 50 degrees. I don't want to walk over there. Too many roads. I don't want to leave my camera sitting here for uh, that amount of time to walk, measure that distance. So what we're going to do is go inside, find out how tall this thing is, and then we're going to calculate how far away we are. Let's do that. Here we are. Let's see how close we are based on the angle. Oh yeah, I gotta look straight up. I think I'm right underneath that lip there. If somebody were to fall from that, they'd hit me. All right, they want $16 to go up that thing. Uh, I estimate 602 feet. Let's use that for our height, 602 feet. Save me 16 bucks. Now, the height, 602 feet, will be the opposite side. 50 degrees was the angle to the top. Calculate the distance along the base. And the question is, how would you support something like this? What do you keep it from falling over? And the answer is, uh, really big bolts. Those are really big bolts. How big are they? Let's try. There's a business card. There's a bolt. There's a bunch of them holding this thing on. I need to have to carry the toolbox. There's some sculpture at the base of the Space Needle. I think that's crazy. Let me show you something else. This is a museum. Or something like that. Let's get closer. Yeah, it's a building. Kind of artistic. And it's a music museum. I got a show on science fiction music. Does seem kind of appropriate. This really is amazing. Didn't realize it at the time, but a monorail just went by. Didn't know Seattle had a monorail. But this is rather spectacular. It's hard to really capture these things that are so huge on film, especially that I'm going to post on YouTube. It's end up being the size of a postage stamp. You really ought to just come down and see for yourself. Next time you're in Seattle.